the whole thing of community you can't have is you can't have the community without the unity. God has touched on it a little bit before. That unity is so important. We have to be together. Watch, watch, yellow, brown, it doesn't matter. What matters is we have to get through this together. We all live here in the same place in this, in this earth, in this world, in America. How do you want to bring it closer or spread it out? We are all here. But I can tell you that Democrats have different differences with Democrats. The Republicans have different differences with Republicans. As we go on this silent march, I want to challenge you today on this thought. Dr. Martin Luther King died with his dream. And he should have. Nobody, nobody should die with Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. We have not made that dream our dream. If you do not make Dr. Martin Luther King's your dream, then you will not have the power, you will not have the tenacity and the gumption to change the world around you. Because it is somebody else's dream that you feel good. It is somebody else's dream that you can look and you can say, that was really good. What he said touched my heart. And then you will go back to your world, you will go back to your home, you will go back to your city, your state, your neighborhood, and you will just wonder why things are simply the same. How come they have not changed? Because that dream was not made true. I challenge you, as we go on this silent march, and as we as we reverence what Dr. King I, I would challenge you that you make that dream into your dream. The work that was done here with the senators, with Ms. Najuma, with all of the other senators 60 years ago, it wasn't the people that said they'd been there for 40 or 50 years. It was the young people that stood up, that demanded their rights, that demanded their voices, and that marched. And they brought people together. Do not wait until you are older to make your voice heard. Now is the time to make your voice heard to bring us together. Dr. King did not let the fear of the unknown stop him. He did not wait until the course was defined. Dr. King went into action, walking in faith, and taking each step one at a time. One of these steps inspired 13 brave African American children right here in Oklahoma City. On August 19, 1958, these young Oklahomans walked into an all-white drugstore and they sat down at the lunch counter and politely ordered hamburgers and cokes, just like any customer would do. They sat in a peaceful protest. They endured insults and glares. And they didn't know what the results or the consequences would be. But they took their step of faith. They made their stand against injustice. And two days later, the Cass Drugstore ended its segregation policy. and some of the other folks that were in there as young people. So thank you so much.